Felicia finally let out of the kitchen. That's right, it is I, Robin Thorson. <laughs> Though since today's segment is Felicia and I cooking and decorating, I guess I'm not completely out of the kitchen. <laughs> you guys, I'm turning into Felicia Day's Stepford wife. Or is she turning into mine? Let's say she's turning into mine. Good talk. So I feel that we got all the important stuff out of the way. Let's move on to our fabulous Trio Mio. Number one is a wine brand called Stacked. I found them at a market right next to where I get my hair did. It's a totally awesome idea for Vino. See, it looks like a normal bottle of wine, but you take the packaging off and it's four individual glasses. Four. It's pretty much the best thing ever. What? It comes in Merlot, Cabernet, Chardonnay, and Pinot Grigio. Bottoms up. <sighs> Two, more wine. Zombies in. I mean, really, zombies and wine? Get a grip. My roommate had a bottle, I tried it, it's super good. There's a badass label on the bottle and it's perfect for the Walking Dead drinking games. Like, take a sip every time somebody does something so stupid you wanna throw something at the TV. Or every time you see a zombie or every time there's like a line of dialogue spoken. The options are endless, it's really out of control. Amazon is where you can purchase it or any specialty store like Cost Plus. Drink it if you dare. That was cheesy. Number three is a website called AllieAndGeorgia.com. So these chicks had a couple of shows on the cooking channel and they make cocktails from scratch, they dress cute, and they're totally funny and witty. And on their website, they have webisodes of them making fun cocktails, like the ultimate bacon cocktail. What? Bacon and booze? Stop it. Or the zombie gut punch. You know, I actually, I honestly didn't think that this whole Trio Mayo business would be about zombies and booze, but I'm just gonna go with it. So Allie and Georgia are totally adorable because they wear vintage dresses all the time and their blog is funny as hell. Plus, I feel that if we met, we'd totally become besties. And they pretty much have my ultimate dream job, booze and they're adorable. So that's, that's me. Number four, <laughs> what? No, three, because trio means three, right? I get it. But we're gonna do four because I, I just want to and I'm hosting, so. Number four is the Jeff Lewis five minute comedy hour. Do I really need to say anything? It's Jeff Lewis, he's a riot. It's his hour. <laughs> See what is in there? No. The show's hilarious, plus as an added bonus, I'm in an episode in each season. So if you haven't checked it out, go watch it. Watch it after you watch me doing this episode because if you, and then you can watch me do. Number five is zombies and wine and wine and zombies. <laughs> Here's the segment. Um, okay, clearly my hair is a different color, but go with it. We filmed it a while back. It doesn't matter, just watch it. You're gonna like it. I didn't take the thing off all the way. Enjoy. Happy, Happy holidays. We are very excited to do a holiday baking, cooking with Robin segment. We're making my favorite thing ever, a bouche de Noël. It's French. Bouche. Bouche. I have a pitch for you, Robin, yes. to make this a special bouche de Noël. All right, let's, let's hear it. You excited? I can't wait. Massacre on Log Mountain. Yes. Okay, Benedict is jealous of Quentin. He got, you know, seniority up at Santa's Playhouse. Oh. Basically, this is what happens. Let's, I think we should just do regular elves. Go the traditional route, right? Massacre on Log Mountain. Well, when you put it that way. By the way, I am taking all these recipes from a really cool blog named Joe Pastry. He has a very pretty bouche de Noël there that I you can follow that, yeah. step by step. I pre-made most of the ingredients because the fun of this is assembling the ingredients. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the buttercream and we're gonna spread a very thin layer on this so we don't have to look at it. Well, it look. looks great. It's just a little stiff. You're a little stiff. Hey. No. <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. So now we're gonna roll. Okay. Rock and roll. We're rolling, we're rolling, <laughs> we're rolling. Oh wow, look at this. It. We probably need some more buttercream in there, huh? So we're gonna do this and we're gonna squeeze our buttercream and we'll Into put it the... in the butt. 
So we're gonna cut our piece of a log off and like make it a branch. Look at that! Wow, I can already. You can tell. already see log That's mountain. That's nice. Yeah. Next step, we're going to take the ganache. Is, God, there's so many G ones. It smells like. It smells good. I was gonna say sugar. I think that might have been harder than it should have been. Who knows? We're done with it now. Mushroom time! Mushroom time. So you can have your little caps and put that right there. One right there is good. Oh no. Next step, we're gonna do marzipan. You know, just decorate at will. This is your personal expression right now. Decorate at will. You sounded like a... <laughs> you are the... Why would you make fun of me like that? I was being really excited. <laughs> your leaf really... looks like <gasps> or maybe you can be holding like instead of um, an axe like a candy cane. Why would they be and at the log of... with a candy cane? What? That's the whole point of Massacre on Log Mountain. We can uh, sell this. Where would we sell it? <laughs> just in the corner. Let's just do the. <laughs> this part is where most people would end. We're gonna make elves. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just wondering, what made you think of this? Death and destruction concept. I mean, it just seemed natural. Okay. <laughs> well, it's gonna have blood all over his face, and it. All right. Do you really not want to do it? I don't know. I just think. Well, let's let's continue with. Okay, it. as my Christmas present to you, maybe we'll just make normal elves. <laughs> but we have to make the elves. All right. Okay. Okay. Make whatever you want. You can make a tree. You can make little Christmas trees. Mm-hmm. For sure. We're gonna make elves who are chopping the Yule log, and we're doing it. Chopping the Yule log. They're going to chop something. All right. All right. It's all right, he's gonna be laying on the ground. Mm. Why? Because he fell? Mm. Yeah, he accidentally fell. Look, Look at that! Man. I don't know why he's doing like this. <laughs> he's like raising his hand. He's saying, no, don't chop my face. Yeah, there Just we sprinkle. go. Sprinkle? Yeah. Like a little bit of snow. Are you ready for da, 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 da. the prequel to Massacre on Log Mountain? <laughs> Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> so basically, what's the best? This is the scene before the, the poster. Yeah, he's just taking a snooze and this... your guy is creeping up. Okay, so this is right before he cuts his arm off. I'm cool All with right. that. That's good. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this festive <laughs> vlog episode segment. If you make your own Yule log or a Bush to Noel, mm -hmm. I would love to see pictures of it because be I know cool. you guys' imagination can go as wild as mine can. Bartholomew and Quentin. Give me some backstory for these guys. Yeah. Because they, I mean, this did happen. We just don't know how. Happy holidays, bye. <laughs> Whoa, those elves kind of look like zombies. That's crazy, it's full circle action. Okay, so this week's question of note comes from Duncan who asks, who would you rather fight, Mr. Miyagi or Yoda? Holy crap. Hmm. Dear Duncan, it sucks that I have to fight either one of them. I mean, let's look at the obvious reasons why. They're both adorable, they can both throw down, and they both took a whiny, irritating kid and turned him into a mega badass. I might be giving Daniel LaRusso a little too much credit there. I mean, at least by Return of the Jedi, Luke was a mofo. Daniel was still whiny and getting his ass kicked by Karate Kid 3. Oh, hold on. I totally forgot your question. Oh, right. My answer is both. Bring them the hell on. Lovingly, Robin. So there you go. Who would you guys fight? There's no paper in there. I totally... I'm gonna email it to you. Comment below, click to subscribe, Geek and Sundry. It's been real. Let's do this again. Happy holidays from me to you. From my wine glass to yours. <laughs> that was good. Bye. Okay. I'm pretty I'm pretty loaded, guys. <laughs>